we were curious up there. What what happened with um, Mace and? You know, he just had a blister. Yeah. Okay. Saw, saw it coming in before, and then it just swelled up. And then the, we popped it. Tried to stop the bleeding, just couldn't stop it. In between innings, went out, threw a couple warm-up pitches, broke open again. So, okay. but you know, again, testament to the bullpen being ready to go in short notice, and you know, Icorn handing it off to the rest of the fellas. It was a good night. And every night, it seems like they just come through. Right? I mean, Jordan went off, so like, you just it's just. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a fight to the bat rack. It's a fight to the bullpen. I mean, guys want innings. Innings are. Innings are precious, right? This time of year, and you're often playing in some tight ball games late in the game, and guys want that opportunity to, to be the guy. We talked about that in the last few nights. Offensively, when you lose guys like John Kenzie and some, you have some promotions throughout the course of the season, you know when when a guy leaves, is a big piece of the puzzle. The next guy wants to be that guy. When Gavin Williams left, it was a fight to who, who's going to be that guy. Um, we've had a number of relievers that have gone up and down, and. You know, we got injury with Christian Cairo earlier in the season. Alexi Planos is out for a while. John Reed is out. I mean, the guys are out. Some of your, you know, heavy hitters are out. Heavy hitters figuratively and literally. You know, who's going to be the next guy? And we've had a lot of guys that have stepped up, which has been really cool. Yeah, I don't think we need to tell you the streak. I think you, you, you know what this point is. You are talking about this night after night. But it just seems like every night something, it's, it's always something new, like a hit, you know, someone doing something that extra tonight was, the, you know, bringing the guys in the bullpen and all of them just really having great nights. Is that just something you're looking for constantly, you know, game after game? Yeah, it's a good point. Like every night there's there's an opportunity every night for somebody to do something special. And you never know when that opportunity is going to present itself. And it might not present itself for, you know, a series. It might not present itself for a couple of series. It might not present itself for a month. And then all of a sudden all the work that you're putting in, you know, pays off for that that one moment that you've really been working hard for, whether that's backing up a base or looking to go two out of the box or, you know, backing up a base from the outfield standpoint or making a big play in a cut relay like we did two nights ago to, to win the game or at least, you know, to win the game, I guess, was the bottom of the top of the ninth there. So, you know, again, those are things that we've talked about for two years now when you guys have seen me talk about what we do at 2 o'clock, you know, and, and use the game as a barometer of how hard we work at 2 o'clock. So you start to see that. And, and that's, you know, I, I talk about it more as a positional standpoint because I'm more of a defensive coach and a positional coach than I am a, a pitching coach. But, you know, those guys are working just as hard at 2 o'clock down in the bullpen area and working on their craft and working on video. And, you know, they're starting to see their hard work paying off as well and our coaches' hard work paying off as well at, at 7 o'clock.